Hey guys, welcome to the video. In today's video, we'll be discussing what type of diet plan it takes to get a physique like Ajay Devgan. Just a quick note before we get started. The purpose of this video is to cover the type of workout you should be performing. If you are looking for something a little bit more specific, I will toss a link in the description box below to a workout plan or workout routine that has been well reviewed or I've tried out myself and will achieve the same goals that we're about to discuss in this video. All right, so the main goals we're gonna have is to get that ripped six pack abs type of look. And that's done primarily by building muscle so that when you get to a low body fat percentage, you have that toned look. And that's, that's gonna get you that six pack, the toned arms and the angular face, all the aesthetics that we're trying to go for here. All right, so the type of diet that's going to achieve this physique is an alternation between bulking and cutting phases, right? So during the bulking phase, we're going to be primarily focused on adding muscle mass, maintaining any muscle mass we have, and just feeding our muscles as we lift and you know do cardio and expend all this energy. We want to provide an excess amount of food so that our muscles are able to repair and get bigger and stronger. So eating above maintenance is number one. And the type of foods that you take in should be high in protein and high in carbs. You know, you're gonna wanna provide your muscles with protein to grow. And you're also gonna to want to have enough carbohydrates in your system so that you are at peak energy because you are gonna be expending a lot of energy during this bulking phase. And some of the foods that fall in these categories. I've listed a few at the bottom. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more than this, but what I personally like to do is just, before I buy something at the grocery store, take a look at the nutrition label, or just run a quick Google search, and it'll come up with what type of uh, proteins and carb breakdowns are in that specific type of food. So phase two is gonna be the cutting phase. And during this phase is we're going to be we're going to be focused more on losing body fat percentage and you know we spend so much time building up this muscle and while we're building this muscle we're also going to gain a little bit of fat so now we're going to be focused on trying to keep that muscle and cut the fat and that's what's going to give us that ripped toned biceps and abs that's where that comes from so cutting is a crucial part of this and it's usually where you have to be a little bit more strict with your diet because you are trying to eat below maintenance. So you're trying to, you know, essentially not provide your body with enough of the nutrients that it needs to maintain its current weight. Okay. So when we're eating below maintenance, we also want to make sure that we are eating high proteins because, you know, we worked on building all that muscle. Well, if we're not providing our body with a, as much calories as it needs, we want to make sure there's protein in there because that way your body is not you know, burning through the hard-earned muscle to feed your body, to fuel your body. So have a high-protein diet, and in this phase, we want to cut out carbs, which are essentially sugar. We want to reduce sugar and increase fat, and what this is going to do is it's going to force our body to kind of go to the fat stores to, you know, find energy to keep fueling, you know, you throughout the day, since you aren't providing it with enough energy to stay at maintenance. So Alternating between these two phases is what's going to achieve this type of physique, you know, getting enough muscle and then also reducing the body fat so that you're at this ripped look is, is essentially achieved by rotating through these two phases. And again, the three weeks that I've put on each side is not necessarily what you need to stick with. If you do want to get a little bit bigger, you can always make your bulking phase a little bit longer. And if you're starting somewhere where you have a little bit more body fat and you want to get to a lower weight, you can extend that cutting phase by a little bit as well. But at the end of the day, rotating between these two phases is what's going to achieve this look.